welcome back to my channel, Miss Damn Jewelry. I'm Dolores and I have a big, massive haul. Is it massive? It's massive for me. <laughs> so let's get into it. So one day, a while back, Jessica and I went to the charity shop. We were actually going to Little, the grocery store. And then we were like, well, right by the charity shops, it'd be rude not to. So we did, we popped into some charity shops and this is what I got at the first charity shop that we went to. I do not remember the name. <laughs> It was somewhere in Ripley, in Derbyshire. So let me show you what I got. So first thing I found was this. This was super cute. I'm not, I don't normally buy teacups and whatnot and all the things, but I liked this. This was pretty. It is um, made in Czechoslovakia. I don't know if that's gonna focus. Nope. Made in Czechoslovakia. Beautiful lusterware, uh, cup and saucer. Again, with the beautiful, pretty flower motif. The plate was also made in Czechoslovakia. And I like it. Again, I usually like the three plate ones, the three piece ones. But because it was beautiful, lusterware, pretty spring flowers, I liked it. And for a pound, yeah, I was going to pick this up. It was too cute to leave behind. And the gold is in all the gold is in good condition. So I got that for a pound. So then. Looking and looking. Oh, I, the first thing I got was this when I walked in. I got me some jewelry, just a piece. It is one of those, kind of like a snap bracelet, where you can just snap it on. It is just a gold tone metal with rhinestones, a little like a filigree leaf. I liked it. It was only a pound, so I picked that up. So then as we were walking along, looking, um... I found some cute stuff. What did I find first? I found this first. I found these. So these, oh, look at that. These, I believe, maybe, probably are Anglian pottery. I haven't done any research on them. Um, this was two pounds. Two pounds. This is two pounds. And it, oh, the cat, because I was totally going to pick that up. Uh, I do believe it's Anglian pottery. It is the same color as the Anglian pottery that I have seen and have in my eBay shop or Etsy shop. There is a signature there. I'll have to look it up because I'm not quite sure if it is Anglian pottery. So let's see. We'll have to we'll have to figure that out. So that was the first little piece I got, and that was two pounds. Then I got this guy, the owl, and again it's got the same kind of mark on it. Look at him. Isn't he cute? Uh, he was also two pounds and I just, I think it's Anglian pottery. I don't know. It's hard to tell, but I'll Google lens it, figure it out. I'm pretty sure with the color of the glaze that it's very similar to Anglian pottery. So there's that. And then as if those two weren't enough, <laughs> I see knees. Look, wait, let me do it this way. No twiddles. I got two of them. These were a pound each. I mean, I wasn't mad about paying a pound each. Oh, come here, guy. Here we go. Let me just get this guy. I don't want to drop him. So I got these turtles, a pound each. Again, they, uh, the bottom looks the same as the uh, owl and the cat. So I believe it's, I believe it's Angry and Pottery. Well, look at that, isn't he cute? So I got two of those. Oh, and then I got this girl. I saw this. I, I cannot pass up uh, an Eastgate piece of pottery. Wither and see Eastgate, all the things. Look at him. And he cute? He's like a little vase. No chips, no cracks, a little bit of crazing. We're not mad at it. He was two pound 50. I just love, oh, I love this. I, lo I would have a whole shelf of these. <laughs> Aren't they cute? And that's the bottom, the bottom, the bottom. Oh, that's the mark and then I got this oh, okay this was really cute is this all I got okay I got one more thing yeah this, oh no I got three more things but I'll show you this first so I got this I love these little lithopane tea lights so like you know you call them fairy lights I suppose but this one has a, has a owls and stars on it which I do love look at the owls got the owls and the stars and the moon cut out or not cut out but uh, on there <laughs> so this was three pounds and this is the bottom again this is a more modern piece 
It's called um, Star. This one's called Starlight. That's the sticker on it. Again, it is more of a modern piece. This will probably be on my eBay. So I'll put this on my eBay. But I just love the fact that it's out. Now, it does need to be cleaned up a little bit. Not a problem. Magic eraser will fix that right up. But look at that. So I got that for three pounds. So then we went to, oh wait. I'm going to insert here, right after I say this, two little snippets of, I got these massive, you know, cause I have a massive house. I don't. Um, <laughs> embroidered pictures. I'm just, I'm just making myself laugh. So they were two, one is massive. One's it's long and tall. And so I got, that one is uh, the first one you'll see. That's actually, I'm going to keep that one because I just couldn't leave it there. And the second one is really pretty. It's a long, it's kind of a long frame and it's, I think it's fox gloves or maybe gladiolas, but I'm going to show you those two. So hang tight and I'll be right back. Guys, Here's the first embroidered picture I got. It doesn't look embroidered from a distance, does it? But it is an embroidered picture. There you go. This was £3.50. This was from the charity shop I went with Jessica, the first one. So let me turn it around. And this is the back. It's heavy. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Oh, oh please. <laughs> this is the back. So it's got a little damage to it. This is exposed. A um, little bit of paint on it. A little bit of damage there. But I loved, loved it. Let me turn it around. Oh, please. It's stuck. Okay. All right. So that's the first. I just really liked it. It's it's big. There is some damage on the frame a little bit there. And a little bit. I don't think that's it. That's it, I think. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a little bit on the corner. Okay. Okay, Momo. Don't know when they see you. So, I know, Mama. So, this is... The first piece I got. So let me put this away and show you the second piece I got with Momo's help. So this is the second piece I got, which is again an embroidered piece. Is it cruel? Is it I don't know. And it was three dollars. I'm sorry, three pounds. <laughs> three pounds. And it's set in a matte frame. It's got the matting here. It's it's heavy, it's solid. And this is a back. The back is in better condition. Um, so it's got a little string there, but this I will probably, um, I don't know what those are, but probably the nails, I don't know, nails, yeah, they're all over the place. So, um, this is the one I will probably list. The other one I may put in my hallway or my bedroom, unclear. So that's the second one I got. Right. So I hope you enjoyed watching those two little videos. I couldn't, I couldn't lift them up. They were too heavy and too big. I'd be like this. And they're heavy. They're super heavy. One of them I'm keeping, the larger one I'm keeping, and the smaller one I am going to sell. So there's that. So then we went to one more, more charity shop. That charity shop was, uh, I'll be honest, it had good stuff, <clears throat> but the prices were a little, a little steep. They're, they're, they're a little, little, little pricey there. So I only got one thing. <laughs> And I mean, when I say pricey, I'm not adverse, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not adverse to paying a little higher price at a charity shop, but these were like retail prices. I was like, and above. And I was like, mm, no. And here's the thing. I have found <laughs> cheaper and better stuff at the antique stores. So just FYI, use your antique stores. So... <laughs> The next thing I got, so the other, the only thing I got at that uh, charity shop was this. Another lithopane, fairy lamp, uh, votive holder. And it's all this, like, they look like just like daisies, which I love. That's so pretty. Again, this, I'll put this in my um, eBay shop. So, that's the inside. It's like a bisque. You know, it feels like a bisque. It was £2.50. It was the cheapest thing in the, ch in the charity shop. And this one's called... Uh, light glow. So again, it's a more modern piece, but I just think you can't go wrong with these. And at £2.50, it was cheaper than the other one. So I got this for £2.50. Now, let's get into what I got at the other charity shops when I went by myself. Right. So Friday after work, I had to go 
to drop my other pair of glasses off to get fixed. So that's right next to the chair. <laughs> of course it is. So I popped in, popped in. And I had I had just been there, I think, not long ago. And I was like, oh, I'm not gonna usually find anything. So I went in and lo and behold, I found a whole set of, um, are they coffee cups, teacups? Unclear. I'd say they were, they're not, they're smallish, but let's get into it. So the entire set I'm about to show you was five pounds. And um, so let's get it. So what you got, what I got was four cups and four saucers. Oh, I don't need to see that. And they're poppies among daisies, which is to me very British. And um, it's made in Japan. So yeah, they're a little dirty, a little dusty. I will have to clean them. But this set was made in Japan. I'm gonna say like the 70s. It just looks very 70-ish to me. And um, yeah, is that chip? Oh no, that's a little bit dirt. <laughs> so, made in Japan. I did check them over before I walked out. Made in Japan. So I got four of these, right? So four cups, four saucers in mint condition. Then I got the sugar pot. And it too was obviously made in Japan. So I got the sugar pot, the lidded sugar pot. There's no place for a spoon. It doesn't have like, but that's cool. I got that again, poppies and daisies, very pretty. And of course I got the creamer. Also made in Japan. <laughs> I just like this kind of stoneware look about it. It's like very, like almost like very seventies boho. I love it. And all the, um, Transfer wear on them is so good. There ain't nary a chip, nary a crack on any of these, huh? Nary. Nothing. It's good. I will have to clean them up. They are a little dirty. But um, the plates, the only thing is the plates don't say Japan on them. It's the bottom. But everything else does. So, like I said, four plates, four cups, creamer and sugar. I mean, the coffee pot would have been amazing. Or the teapot. But it, alas, it wasn't there. So, I just thought that was like for five pounds. I wasn't mad at it. So, I picked it up. So the, the other thing I got from this charity shop was, the, this is so stupid. It's a pig, he's a piggy bank. Does he come apart? Oh, I don't even wanna go there. I don't think it comes apart. Oh, it might be a smash bank, so don't smash it. Um, it looks a little bit like Porky Pig, if Porky Pig was a sailor. Oh, <laughs> that's what it looks like. So he's got like yellow paint on him, which is a little, you know, coming off a little bit. I thought he was cute, he was four pounds. He even got his little curly Q tail. Look. <laughs> marked on the bottom, 1738. That is not the year. <laughs> that, that is not the year. And this mark, which looks like a C, if you know what that is, please tell me in the comments. Um, so I thought the lid came off. Oh, she sure don't. It don't come off. So this is a smash bang. Ooh, don't smash it. He's too cute. Look at him. He's too cute for four pounds. So, then I went across the street. So here's the thing, I don't usually go to, to the across the street charity shops because I haven't really been lucky there. But I thought, you know what? Today is the day I'm gonna look. <laughs> so I went to the Ashgate Hospice. I usually do pretty good at Ashgate Hospice, but this one for whatever reason by my house has been a little bit skimpy. And I think because they moved it around and now they focus a lot on, there's a, the, the, the closed area is bigger than the hardware area, which is fine if you're looking for clothes. I'm not. Well, I mean, I am for me, but I don't resell clothes. So anyway, long story. <laughs> so I walked in and I was like, and I do look at the handbags. I will sell a hand, but she'll sell a handbag. So I look around and I saw this. This was the coolest thing. Now there is somewhere. Okay. This is the coolest thing. I don't know where it's from. It's leather. Yeah, it's leather. <laughs> so I sniff it. <laughs> it's leather. It's got this, it's like a little, like a little handbag. And uh, it's got these red and green colors on it. I just thought it was so cool. It could have been a tourist piece for all I don't know. It is got designs in the leather and it opens up. Oh, and it's so clean inside. Look how clean it is inside. And I just thought it was a very cool hip. You could have this purse and drink your boho cup of coffee. Look at that, yes. But I just felt like this was very boho. This is very, you know, handmade, very artisan, very, maybe I went on a trip to a exotic country and brought this back. There we go. So I got that for two pounds. Right, so I had a good look around. I got this. This was 
uh, I got this. This is a Blue Willow. Now, it's not an original Blue Willow. It's not from the like 1800s or whenever it was made. <laughs> this is obviously a reproduction. So, but I just thought it was so pretty. Let me take the lid off before I drop it. Mm. So this is the lid. Pretty well done, transfer wear. Um, good condition. There's the sides of it, which is also very pretty. Um, this is the inside clean. Now this was made by Boothis. Uh, oh wait, hang on. Royal Dalton. Is it Royal Dalton? Sure is. Royal Dalton. I can't read. I mean, I'm, it's too small. Royal Dalton, Dalton, fine China, Booth's real old willow. Made in 1981. So clearly it's reproduction, but it was only a pound. Now, would I normally pick something like this up? Probably not. But it had the year on it. It was only a pound. It is a, people like blue and white. You know, it's a, nice to decorate with. So I figured I'll give it a go. So I picked that up and it's vintage. So I picked it up for a pound. So then I saw, while I was looking at that, I saw this. This is the cutest thing. It's, it's just, it looked like Holly Hobby to me. It's not, but. It has this little girl on it, and she's holding um, a kitten, which is probably why I picked it up. It's a piggy bank, and it says on it, little acts of kindness show that you care. <laughs> so it is a piggy bank with a little face. And um, the picture to me looks very 70s, very Holly Hobby, very, very drinking your boho cup with sitting by your bank. Um... And, but it's funny, it's called Annalise Genuine Porcelain Made in Japan, exclusively for Delgado LTD. So, you're not going to read that. I thought there was a year on it. Maybe I was mistaken. It looks, well, it looks like from the 70s, whatever it is. It does have a stopper. And it was £2.50. Now, I do like a piggy bank. I will put this on my Etsy. I don't, I'll have to forgot the year it's made but so I got that for two pound fifty so the next thing I got was oh I got this the this this is I've had one before and um I have sold it and I've had another one and I've sold it and so on and so forth so I do good with these it's a butter dish it was two pounds it is clear it's got this like pointed or cubist look to it Pressed glass, easy peasy, lemon squeezy for two pounds. I will sell this all day long. And they will sell in my Etsy shop. So I got that. Kind of like really cute. So I got that. Then I got, oh, I got this. These two. So I saw these and I'm not a, let me go buy some egg cups. I don't eat eggs like that. But other people do. <laughs> so. I saw these egg cups and I just was drawn to them and it's only two, it's a pair and they are Bridgewater, which is Emma Bridgewater made in England. Now, apparently her stuff goes for really good money. I don't, didn't know that. I think Jessica may have mentioned it, but I don't know a lot about Emma Bridgewater, but these two go for pretty good money. I'm trying to think how much I saw. What was it? 15? I don't remember. 15 pounds, 14, 15 pounds. I bought them for a pound. The set was a pound. So I will do a little more research on them and list them on my eBay. And then I got these. So, okay. So these are slightly different. They're more sisters than twins. Um, but I got these. Now, you saw, I did a video recently. I think it was in Salvation Army. And I got a donkey one. Well, I got two kitty cats. Of course, I got kitty cats. Now, the difference is this base is slightly bigger than this base. This base, this is actually a Siba, which is a vintage, made in London, vintage, like a ring holder. This is like acrylic with a metal cat. And there's the sticker on it, Siba, right there. And this one doesn't have the sticker. Um, but I, I've, I've already looked. Um, but I feel like it's the same. It's also a Siba. Maybe just the base is different, unclear. But they were both two pound each, and I picked them up, and I will put them in my Etsy shop. So then I got one more thing. Yes, one more thing. 
I got this. This was cute. This is a vintage paperweight. Look at that. Is it Millie Fleury? Millie Fleury. Lots of flowers. <laughs> Millions of flowers. Uh, I got that. It is like the little, it's caned. It's the caned glass cut uh, and then put in here. And it was two pounds. And I'll show you the bottom. The bottom isn't like super clear. It's not Marana or anything, but that's the bottom. I just thought it was cute for two pounds. Look at that. I got that. And that's my haul, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the haul. I didn't take you shopping because I didn't really know I was going to go shopping when I went. So you got to see the haul. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed. What was your favorite thing? What was my favorite thing? I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm clear. I don't know which one my favorite thing was. I mean, you know what I'm going to pick. If I was in, this is my favorite thing. This, I may keep this. I know, I know, I know, I know. I understand. I have a lot of cat stuff. It's behind me. <laughs> it's a lot of cat stuff. But this is my favorite thing. And let me know in the comments what your favorite thing was. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you next time. Bye.